What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Scream 6 in this video here today. So Courtney Cox, whether she was supposed to or not, and this of course might not even stick, but according to Courtney Cox in a recent podcast she did with Variety, um, where she was talking about her her new show on the Stars Network, I believe, Shining Veil, which you should check that out. It's great so far from what I've seen. I haven't finished it, um, but it's great. But she revealed that Scream 6 is going to be, I guess, expected to start filming in Canada in the next coming months in in june so what this means is that if they were to if they were to pull this off and start filming in june and then you know shoot for june july maybe early august they could do post-production for the rest of the year release a trailer maybe late december have the movie come out or early december late november have the movie come out in january or if it's late december have the movie come out sometime early next year the early 2023 seems to be picking up steam with a lot of us but the other important thing was that she mentioned that she got the script yesterday now going off of when the podcast came out I, well i don't think we should be going off of that but because i don't even know when they recorded it i just realized that too but the podcast itself came out march 15th and basically she at the time of that recording she had stated you know i got the script yesterday so i don't really know when she received it because i was about to go into that because i don't know when she received it but knowing she received it that also leaves me wondering well has david received it if david's going to be back as dewey did nev receive hers i'm assuming so since we know that she said it depends on how the the script is and that would determine if she's going to be involved or not i did want to just put, throw this out there i see people saying that this means that courtney cox will be back now Yes, I, I think Courtney Cox will be back. And I think this is all but confirming it. But the, you have to remember, she can easily just read the script and say, you know what, I don't want to do this. She can easily read the script and say, you know what, I don't I don't want to do this. Because when it comes to them sending out the scripts, for instance, Nev isn't locked in. That's because Nev has already made it clear what she what she wants. She wants to be able to read the script first and then she'll agree to do it I, that's not to say that courtney hasn't already agreed to do it but i'm just saying i don't want to just grow attached to the idea of gail weathers being back just yet <laughs> until until it's officially announced because she could end up reading the script because she stated herself she hadn't even read it yet in the podcast she could read the script and say you know what i don't want to do it anymore guys you're gonna have to do it without me or something like that and then that's just it but you know if, if we're being honest she she's back <laughs> courtney cox is back gail weathers is back most likely but i just want to throw that out there there is a chance that she could end up not being in the project just from reading the script but i'm certain this would also mean that nev has gotten her script i've seen people on twitter always say well what about hayden pantier did she get her script you know if hayden's not in it i'll, I'll be fine I would love for Kirby to be back, and I already know that she had expressed interest to them that she wanted to be involved with the fifth movie. We also know that they sided against it because they didn't want to just shoehorn her in, and I, again, think that speaks a lot to how they want to treat the character of Kirby since they have already made it clear that they themselves are fans of her character. But it's nice to know that Gail Weathers, Courtney Cox herself, whether she was supposed to or not, uh, told us some tidbits of when we should be expecting filming to start because i know i had a video i made recently where i talked about pre-production starting this month and this also does sound pretty pretty reassuring to me that they are in the pre-production stages especially considering the fact that shout out to you again kate because you're the one who sent me that clip that audio of gail weathers and you're also the one who's been sending me those tidbits of of these actors that have been following the people over on instagram lately so that tells me that pre-production maybe even auditions are already going on for the working title film blackmore which you know is just scream six when it's going to film out in montreal uh, or quebec i meant to say in canada this june according to courtney cox so another person i want to talk about really quick is melissa barrera who did recently express interest in exploring the dark side of sam carpenter and i just wanted to kind of talk about that idea that i've seen tossed around about sam becoming ghostface in scream six the only reason i'm against that is because i think that there's a necessity to have a sibling dynamic a healthy sibling dynamic between sam and tara in an effort to then give a crutch not well no not a crutch but give a logical and believable reason for sydney to then have an interest in returning in scream six because she herself could have been dealing with that traumatic event with her brother in scream three and just over the course of her adulthood has been longing to have something like that with her brother and she doesn't want something like that to go down with sam and tara so she has an investment 
in their survival, their progression, them overcoming their collective trauma and staying strong as siblings. And maybe she even shared that her story of herself and Roman and how she wishes she could have something like that. So if they ever need anything from her, they can always give Sydney a call. And Sydney will, of course, show up, not right away, but that would just be enough for me and I think a lot of other people to see that, you know, okay, this is why Sydney is still here. She's invested in them because of that reason. Not to say that a lot of people think that's a strong reason for Sydney just being involved, but I think that's enough more so than just Sydney coming here because she found out Ghostface is back like that. That's not that's not what Sydney did in the fifth one. So why would she do it now? In fact, she's never done it before. <laughs> she's never done that before. So just finding out Ghostface is back wouldn't be enough. Ghostface would need to be messing with someone Sydney has an investment in. And making Sam and Tara that investment, I think, is something that a lot of people can get behind, especially considering that link that they all have to Billy Loomis and the link that their mother has with Billy Loomis. Uh, Christina Carpenter, who we hopefully will get to meet this time around in Scream 6. But the other thing I wanted to talk about is Kristen Stewart, who recalled the original plans for Scream 4 that they had, where she was supposed to do like a Drew Barrymore-esque opening. And she ultimately turned it down because she didn't think she could do it. And then, of course, we know we got the opening that we got. But she did also express interest in returning, not returning, uh, but being involved in the franchise for the first time. She said that she would just have to read the script. And, of course, that would be her key to saying you know i'll do it or i won't do it and it's funny that she did that and then we have this interview with gail weathers courtney cox saying that she just got the script the other day so i'm now thinking you know what is she just saying this for of course publicity reasons and she already has gotten a script for scream six potentially maybe she has maybe they already have offered her a role but all i know is that i don't care who's in the movie <laughs> as long as they're delivering good performances and as long as hayden is back and we get enough kirby screen time if hayden decides to come back because again it's ultimately up to her but either way if she's not in it or not that's not going to be the icebreaker or the thing that breaks me from not watching scream scream six um but we'll see what happens with filming expected to start in june according to courtney cox which again it's not necessarily locked in because that could change for other reasons but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you have already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video